So earlier today, White House Press Secretary Jen Psaki actually had the gall to downplay the government, aka Big Brother, spying on people's Facebook accounts. Before we get into this video, I want to say thank you to our sponsor, A Game, the herbal male solution that provides strength, energy, vitality, and libido for men. All natural herbal solution. Vitality is our ability to have spiritual, emotional, mental, and physical bliss. Some call it paradise, we call it A Game. And you can get your next order of A Game by clicking on the link in the description box below. Click on that and enter discount code YOUNG10 to get 10% off your next order. But diving into this video, I thought this was America. I thought this was the land of the free home of the brave. I thought that we didn't operate like communist China. I thought that the CCP, what they did, I thought that that was something that we frowned upon, even though uh, Sleepy Joe is very friendly with China and he has a friendly history with China. I was shocked to hear the press secretary speaking for the Biden administration being totally fine with Big Brother, AKA the government, being involved in people's Facebook posts. The big concern though, I think for a lot of people on Facebook is that now this is Big Brother watching you. They're more concerned about that than people dying across the country because of a, a pandemic where misinformation is traveling on social media platforms. That feels unlikely to me. If you have the data to back that up, I'm happy okay, to discuss and just it. About things that are on Facebook. I looked this morning. Uh, there are videos of Dr. Fauci from 2020 before anybody had a vaccine. And he is out there saying there's no reason to be walking around with a mask. So is the administration going to contact Facebook and ask them to take that down? Well, first, I think what Dr. Fauci has said himself, who's been quite public out there, is that science evolves, information evolves, and we make that available in a public way to the American people. People. Exactly. I, I, I have never seen any data su to suggest that uh, that the vaccines cause infertility. That is information that is irresponsibly but, traveling. Okay. Just I one think more. Just one more. Sorry. Excuse me. Just one more. Okay. About the science. Uh, about the science evolving. Facebook used to post. I uh, used to block people from posting that COVID may have originated for a lab. That is something this president now admits is a possibility. So, is there any concern that the things you are trying to block or have taken down might someday turn out to be... We don't take anything down. We don't block anything. Facebook and any private sector company makes decisions about what information should be on their platform. Our point is that there is information that is leading to people not taking the vaccine and people are dying as a result. And we have a responsibility as a public health matter to raise that issue. And the responsibility we all have, the government, media, platforms, public messengers to give accurate information. Go ahead. Who are the people that make this determination that something is misinformation on the platform of Facebook? Because who are these fact checkers? What are their qualifications <laughs> to be checking the facts and, a, and a, a lot of times just opinions of other people? Who are these fact checkers? Who are they? These social media platforms are not supposed to be an extension of the US government. That's not what it's supposed to be. That's not why any of us signed up for Facebook willingly. We didn't go on there to be spied on by the government and of course they're gonna act as if they have purely noble intentions and they say that oh it's to stop misinformation misinformation as if that is the only thing that's stopping people from choosing to be vaccinated and in this video I'm reporting on a news story so I am not speaking ill on the vaccine but they act as if the only reason why people are choosing not to be vaccinated is because they're being given false information. But in one of the previous videos I just did, 
I brought up my own personal reasoning, which is the lack of information. That's my personal reasoning for not getting the vaccine as of yet. That's my reason. And I'm sure that that is some other people's reason as well. The lack of long-term studies. And other people, they have their own issues which are valid to them. The Biden administration is openly saying that they are encouraging, pushing these social media platforms to fight back against what they deem to be misinformation. So when they say that they're trying to stop misinformation, this is something that can be very dangerous because they're being purposely very vague about what it is that they're looking for. And they can easily just silence people who are expressing opinions, who are expressing beliefs that are not what they desire to hear. Because now we have a government entity influencing private corporations as far as what they should do, what they should censor. So this is a level of government involvement that is very concerning to anyone that actually cares about their own personal freedom, that cares about that sort of thing. Because last I checked, as long as you were not violating whatever community guidelines that particular platform has, you are not in violation of anything, last I checked. But with the Biden administration openly coming out and saying that they are encouraging these platforms to censor misinformation, whatever they deem to be misinformation, which if we follow the logic of the left, we know <laughs> it's hilarious that these are going to be the people who are going to be making this determination as far as what is and what is not misinformation. The same people that are okay with individuals identifying as whatever they want to be regardless of the observable person before you. For example, the story that I covered and many other conservatives covered not too long ago about the man that entered the spa in LA and in that spa that he entered, he entered the women's section and he was a full blown man, but because he physically complete genitalia, no alterations whatsoever, but because he simply self identified, that was enough. That was enough for him to mingle with the girls, mingle with the ladies at the spa. So these are the same people that are on this misinformation campaign even though they openly will push delusion and falsehoods onto people, openly. The same side, the left. And also I do believe that they are using these social media platforms as a scapegoat simply because Joe Biden did not meet his own vaccination goal, which wasn't even that ambitious of a goal in the first place. But he still fell short, that is what Joe Biden does. He fails a lot. So he fell short again, and because not enough American citizens, according to him, are vaccinated, he's really just looking for something to blame, in my opinion. That's what I think. He's looking for something to blame. So he's blaming these social media platforms for them allowing misinformation, which is simply people's opinions about things. I, I thought in a free country, I. I thought we were allowed to have opinions. I thought we were allowed to express them, but there are some people that don't mind giving up all of their freedom simply so they can feel a little bit safer when in reality, they won't be. But I'm curious what you guys think about this whole thing. Make sure you hit the like, share, subscribe button and blessings to you.